So this morning there was a wall here <laughs> and they knocked it through. It's actually really nice because it makes it easy for us to get into the driveway, which we'll hopefully be working on tomorrow. Bon dia, bon dia. So, possibly an exciting video today. One of those rare occasions where we might get a whole job done in one video. Don't promise too much. I'm not gonna promise. <laughs> I mean, I think the first time we started work on this driveway, well, technically, the first week we were ever on the land. So, we've got Nick coming down. He's gonna give us a hand mostly with level and logistics, like the technical bits. I, I can't get things level to save my life, no matter what, I don't know why. Just digging the weeds out at the moment. It's a bit shadowy, but trying to get all the grass so the grass doesn't grow through the paving blocks. I've dug out a little channel along here for the bottom row of blocks to go, and what we'll do is concrete those in so they don't move and they'll effectively support everything that's coming down. So these are the blocks we've got, and basically they interlock. So. There's a lot of noise going on. We've got some our neighbours are doing some, some work and some land clearance on their land. So sorry about the, the constant noise you'll hear in the background. It's a JCB ripping up trees. <laughs> So Nick setting up a string line is something I hadn't thought about already, is making sure that the blocks are all square going straight up and finishing square at the top. Ooh. So we're 300 mil out.
So we're just cementing in, or Nick is cementing in the top row so that then we'll place them all in um, and they'll have something to back against, I think. So we're also going a bit higher because to stop the water all running down and washing all the sand out, so hopefully it's going to be good. so happy. Two years in making. Two years, I think.
So we've run out of blocks to finish it, we need about 60 more so we've just put some blocks in to try and hold that in place and we'll have to go get some more ordered but I'm so happy with how it's looking so we are very tired and dirty in time for a, yeah. for a Savasia. Today's video is kindly sponsored by the wonderful Squarespace. If you have a great business idea, a creative project or a hobby that you'd like to share your wisdom about, then Squarespace might be a helpful tool for you. It's an all-in-one platform to help you easily build a beautiful website. When I'm not pottering in the garden, I'm usually drawing and I'm lucky enough to be able to work for myself having built up my illustration business, Calm Lines, of which having my own website has been a foundational element. You can choose from one of their hundreds of award-winning design templates, giving your site a good foundation to build up from, and in no time at all, you could have a beautiful and professional looking site, even if you have no design skills. All you'll need to do is add in the content, whether that's showing about your passions like gardening or building your own online business and adding things like a shop with their commerce feature. Whether you're selling a physical product, a digital product or a service, their well-designed and functional commerce section makes it easy for you and your customers. I have my print shop on the site selling both physical and digital files and I've also just added my first original drawing to the shop. If you feel inspired to create a site then you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Frankie Off Grid for a free trial and to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. All links will be in the description below and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. him a hand in exchange for all the work he did for us yesterday. I think we're going to be pruning olive trees. Sausage. Frankie. Sausage.
Tapos. Are you trying to eat my laces? Excuse me. Can you hear the first one? It's pretty hard, isn't it? It's a bit of cold. Okay. Ooh, that'd be refreshing. I think it's still warmer than our shower, though. <laughs> This one can't get out. <laughs> one there in the middle with the dark tail feathers, that was one of the ones that was So the handy thing about going to Nix is on the way home we can pick up our drinking water from this fountain. Um, it's always really delicious fresh water here. Um, we finished pruning some olive trees and did a lot of chipping and if you want to see what we got up to then you can go check out Nick's channel Project Portugal um, and we also stole a shower <laughs> whilst we were there which was so nice. Ours has been really playing up. Um, and it's been really cold in the days, so having showers hasn't been fun. So, thank you, Nick and Ange, for letting us steal your hot water. And then, um, yeah, I'm heading home now. I'm just about to head to bed, but we've been checking the forecast because. We're expecting quite a lot of rain in the morning, like nine mils in an hour is what it's forecasting. Hopefully it's not going to happen, but we're a little bit concerned about the sand all getting washed out of the driveway. <laughs> so you has just gone down to, I think he's putting a tarp over it. Just anything we can try and do to keep that sand in. Hopefully the blocks we've put will keep it as well. So it's not the best timing for a big downpour, but we'll see. we'll see what the morning brings. Hi, Mr. Mouse. Hello, Sir Mouse.
Everybody's here now. We bought Diogo a bed for his birthday and the cats have taken over it. Hopefully then put down the top. No. <clears throat> I figure if I put down the top, then it's gonna roll down the top and then just hit a certain point. Okay. Because it's not long enough. It's not big enough to cover the whole thing. So you can see where the water goes down the road and where it hits the driveway. So a load of the stuff that we dug out chucked on the road and basically made like a gully like an anti-gully a mound oh, okay, okay. a ridge okay. to try and divert the water away let's hope it works from the driveway i guess we'll try and get some footage tomorrow It's a bit soggy out there. <laughs> right, we've got a slight break in the rain, so I thought I'd bring you down to the driveway and show you the damage. There's not actually any damage yet, which is nice. There it is behind me. Um, yeah, but it definitely pools a little bit and it's disrupted the sand slightly, but that was always going to happen anyway because we know we need to put more sand on it between the gaps. But yeah, so far so good. We expected more rain, but it's not been as bad as the forecast yesterday suggested. So with any luck, it will be all right. We're going to get the rest of the blocks and more sand ordered. I don't think it'll get here for next week so we can finish it in next week's video, but thank you so much for watching as ever. Much appreciated. Yeah, we'll see you next week. And fingers crossed the driveway hasn't uh, all washed away. Ciao.